Hey folks, so today I want to do a short video to show you guys how to get rid of the white cabbage moth in your garden. Just need to grab a few things and then we'll get stuck into it. So as you can see here, this is the white cabbage moth. Right down here it's having a nice old drink. Just done some water and it's come down, landed. It's getting itself a nice good old drink. So that's what we're trying to get rid of from laying its eggs on your plants. Alright, so I've got everything I need in my little trusty farmer hat to make everything. I think that's what I'm going to need. So what you're going to need, a pair of scissors. Now you want a piece of white cardboard if you can. Um, this is the wax cardboard that you put your veggies and stuff in. Um, or you can use as an ice cream container as well. Um, you're going to need a stick or maybe a skewer to be able to stick in the ground. So all we're going to do, it's really simple, we're actually just going to make our own little butterfly or cabbage moth, mock cabbage moth I call them. And they're really simple to do. Just want to cut them out. I'm just going to do that like that. That like that. Cut that out. And then that there... That's going to become our fake cabbage moth. And all you're going to do is you're going to grab, obviously, your fake cabbage moth. You're going to get your stick. Grab the knot, oh, scissors here. And then all you want to do is just poke a little hole in the back just to lift up a bit of the cardboard there. If you're using the ice cream lid, just get a bit of sticky tape as well. And you can sort of venture it in there. Obviously, I've got my stick here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wiggle that around and I'm going to place that inside like that. And then that there is what's going to become our fake little cabbage moth to be able to pretend that it's uh, hovering above the plant. So let's go stick this out in the ground. So, what this does, this little mimicking or mocking cabbage moth, it obviously is pretending to be a cabbage moth, they're very territorial. So if they see that there's already a cabbage moth laying or flying around a plant, they'll head off somewhere else to lay their eggs, leaving your plants hopefully egg free from the uh, cabbage moth, maybe duck over to your next door neighbours and lay their eggs in there. So uh, we'll jump in the garden here. So I'm going to place this one uh, in with the silver beet uh, just to get rid of them. I can see there's already a couple in here flying around. So. Hopefully a few of these will uh, do the trick and get them off my silver beet. Alright, so we've got our silver beet plant here. We've got our mock uh, cabbage moth here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to just poke this down into the dirt, like so. Push it down as far as it goes so it's nice and secure. And then that's it. So just to show you what it looks like for the bird's eye view if, as a cabbage moth. So if I fly over there, it does mimic and it does look like it is just a cabbage moth sort of flying, hovering above that plant. So this, that, what this does, it actually just deters them. So they'll fly elsewhere and look for somewhere else to lay their eggs. Now there are a few other deterrents that you can use to get rid of the cabbage moth besides the mock uh, moth. It's actually to grab uh, a plant called landcress. Landcress is similar to the watercress except it grows in on land and what the landcress does is it actually has a toxin inside the leaves and what happens is the white cabbage moth is actually attracted to the landcress over any other plant so it'll actually search it out to try and lay its eggs um, inside the plant so once it lays its eggs obviously the caterpillar emerges and then it'll take a bite of the leaves the toxin in that will kill the caterpillar so that's a great way to get rid of them and what you do is you just obviously interplant them with your crops um, in your garden or as i've got out here in the market garden in the rows i'll plant some in between um, also you can use netting so obviously if you get some insect netting if you've got a small little plot or a little box um, on a balcony or in your backyard you can chuck that netting over it and that will actually keep them from actually getting onto your plants to lay their eggs. So, so that's it folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It's really easy to do. Go out, grab some ice cream, just so you can get the ice cream lid of course. Uh, and that's it. So 
Share and like the videos. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna start posting a bit more on Facebook and Instagram as well, so make sure you check out those. Snapchat, Farmer Govy, check me out there. I do some behind the scenes of my daily happenings down here at the Little Food Garden as well, and as well on Instagram stories. So it's all social, uh, social reach down here at the moment. So check it out, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.